In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your website to Google Search Console in just a few minutes. The first thing you want to do is go to webmaster.google.com because Webmaster Tools was the old name of Search Console. This is the URL. So jump over there and sign in with a Gmail, the Gmail that you want to manage all your Google tools with. It can be an existing Gmail or you can create a new Gmail. doesn't really matter. Sign in and if you don't have any registered properties yet, which most of you won't, this is what you'll see. Now what you have to do is type in the homepage URL. So in this case it is WP Lemmings is the website I'm going to register. So you need to copy or type in your homepage here. If you're using HTTPS, put the S in. If you're using www for your main homepage, put that in. If you're not 100% sure, just pop over to a browser, get your homepage and copy and paste it in here. And then you click add a property. Once you're logged in and you've pressed the add property button, you'll now be asked to verify your website. Do you own this website? That's the big question and Google wants to know the answer. So what you need to do is there's a bunch of different ways you can verify your website. So we're gonna show you all the different ones and you can choose the easiest one for your situation. If you have direct access to your website in terms of the files and the folder structure, you can log into your website, maybe through the console or through FTP, depending on if you play with that stuff. And you can download this file here on the blue button and then upload it directly into the main directory of your website and verify here with the I'm not a robot checkbox and then verify. I'm not going to do that one because it's a little bit more complicated. There are some potentially easier ways to do it under the alternative tab here. So let's have a look at the alternative methods. The first one, which I've already tried before I started recording, was the Google Analytics method. This website isn't used, so there's no Google Analytics set up. But if you have Google Analytics set up and it's the same login as this user, then this is your simplest way of verifying the website. Just check that and click verify and it should happen pretty quickly and then you're good to go. If that doesn't work, Maybe you have Google Tag Manager set up, which is an alternative to Google Analytics. That's quite technical and advanced, so a lot of people don't have that. But if you do use that, that should work pretty simply as well. Otherwise, the main one that I recommend people do is to click on the HTML tag and copy that in to the head of your website. So again, you either need direct access to your website's code, or there's a simpler way depending on the kind of website you have. I'm only familiar with WordPress websites, but if you have a way of getting something into the head of some code into the head of your website, the header section, then this is where you would paste that in. You would have to ask your developer or the company that gives you your website if you can do that. It's pretty common, so I'd be surprised if they don't do it. But basically you want to copy this in. If you have access to WordPress, I recommend you install the Yoast SEO for WordPress plugin. And I'll show you what that looks like inside this website. So if you're using WordPress, this is a quick step for you. Basically the first thing you want to do is search for WordPress SEO. And then the first plugin you're looking for here is Yoast SEO. And that's the one we want to install. And then you press activate. And then we get a new menu on the left hand side here called SEO. Where you can also access it at the top with the Y symbol. And then where you want to go across to is the Webmaster Tools panel on the tab here, the second last one. And then in there, we're going to paste that meta tag from the Google Search Console. So we grab the whole thing. And when we paste it in, it actually chops most of it off. So we just get the code or you'll see that when we save it, it'll just take the code. 
which is what we're after. And we're left with just the code. And then we go back to Search Console and click Verify. And that's it, you're good to go. You're now verified with Webmaster Tools and now you can get all of the juicy information and goodness that comes with that. Right, I hope you enjoyed that one and got lots of value out of it. Jump into Google Webmaster Tools and explore all the stuff that Google tells you about your website. You might also want to add a sitemap XML. There will soon be a video on YouTube for that if there isn't already by the time you've watched this. So enjoy that one as well. And don't forget to subscribe if you want more useful SEO and WordPress tips. See you in the next video.